So what are men facing in relationships that is different from women? And why is it important that we place ourselves into this space of exposure, inquiry and vulnerability? Men receive bad raps when it comes to love and in many ways for good reasons. But of course, men are looking to express love and connection just as much as women do. Men though in most cases come with a different background, understanding and a kind of survivalist into relationships. The benefit of practicing relating in love may be of even greater importance for men than it is for women. We are responsible for much of the aggression that exists in the world and in large part for the simple reason that we have not been encouraged or even allowed to let our hearts or feelings lead. Relationships can be a place in which men can find healing for their hearts simply because they can experience the importance of communication and feelings instead of the rule of control, determination, goal achievement and power. Men don't learn that the expression of feelings is allowed or welcome. They are experienced as weakness and women have a part in maintaining the avoidance of weakness in men at all costs. In partnerships, men are confronted with a barrage of conflicting expectations that create confusion and effort that result in anger and frustration. Men can benefit much from a meaningful relationship in which they learn to be led by their hearts and thereby also creating a more resilient and healed world. So what makes this process relevant for men? This is an invitation for men to join a process in the which they will understand their true attitude and conditioning towards women. Men will be able in a safe place to explore the various roles they had to take on and which keep them isolated and feeling alone in relationships. It's a process in which men can connect with their longing for love and connection that is covered up by frustration and misunderstanding. This is a deep and healing opportunity for men to meet themselves as well as women in understanding how to bridge the divide and create respect for one another, which forms the basis for any relationship to grow. Thank you.